One of the biggest uh, questions that we've been getting is what is the difference between four week natural game and for example RSD game or Todd game or mystery game or whatever? How do we differentiate ourselves, especially off the base off the back of the kind of the format that we teach, which is a four week type of program rather than a one week or a four day or a ten day kind of thing? And the, the answer to that is what we call the front door rule, whereas companies like Real Social Dynamics, uh, I can't think of any other like actual legitimate companies out there really. I mean, there's a lot of other people out there coaching, but the big, big company, which you're probably aware of, is RSD, and they really focus on attraction. We focus on the front door rule combined with you are enough. They focus on attraction. Now, I've been coaching you know, both in RSD, for about seven, eight years, and now I've been the head of this company for, this is the sixth year now, which is kind of a cool, cool to see it from both sides of the fence. But of course, when I was only coaching for three days, it's like, okay, I want you to be empowered, I want you to be attractive, I want you to be liberated to say and do whatever you want to anybody in a social situation. Now that I've got a guy for four weeks, I want to teach him to have an exit strategy, assume attraction, and to take the girl out of the front door. Now, so you've become a coach four years ago, you're into your fourth year now, and from the outside looking in, when you thought about maybe doing a program with, you know, RSD, maybe doing a program with Ford Natural, what was your kind of assumed difference? What, how would you, like, what did you think you were going to get out of an RSD coaching experience versus a Ford Natural coaching experience? Yeah, so I mean, I've only been a coach for just over a year now, um, but I've been in the game for about four and a half years, you know, to be accurate. And um, I've never actually done a course with RSD, so I can't legitimately comp uh, make a comment. But I know loads of people that have, and I've met plenty of people from the inner circles and traveling up and down that I've met, not just RSD, um, but like other different companies that they've worked with. Um, and there are some great guys in this community, some really good guys that you can connect with, go out with, make your friends, not even wingmen. I hate that term because it almost signifies that it's just about the game, you know? If, mm. It shouldn't be like that. It should be, um, you know, a friend that you can go out with and go for food and then talk about other shit and maybe even work with. Now, this is the whole idea, which is the foundation of the four week natural is that we are just normal guys. We're just normal dudes with normal mm. jobs. You know, a lot of guys are entrepreneurs, they're earning money, they're doing great stuff. But there's a lot of guys in our community that are just normal fucking dudes. They grew up, uh, they weren't particularly too, um, you know, they didn't particularly have much of a, a, a hardship growing up as children. Um, you know, it doesn't matter if you had, you had them. But, you know, generally they're quite normal when it comes to thinking towards women, to having friends, to money, to fitness. Um, they're not too obsessive about the game. You know, I was in Vegas doing a four-week natural last year, and there was this guy, and he must have recognized me on YouTube, um, and he stood next to me, and I could feel that he was just planting himself next to me throughout the night because he wanted to say hello. Instead <clears> of just coming up and being like, oh, hey, man, like, how's it going? Like, I've watched a couple of your videos, like, all good. What have you been up to? Um, he kind of leaned over and he said something like, hey, I look at all these girls and all these guys and I don't make a distinguished opinion of a girl's logistics if I don't know them or something like that. And it just like straight away, I mean, I don't even know if that was exactly what he said, doesn't but it was sense. something like, it yeah, just, it, it didn't yeah. make sense at the time. Yeah. And I'm stood there and I'm like, what the fuck are you even on about? Like, <laughs> be normal. Yeah. So when it comes to girls, they can sense that from you and the girls that you get with, um, if you are in this pickup gamey mindset, um, they're gonna feel that from you at a certain point even if you've reached the end goal or whatever you assume that is within the game you know you're gonna start introducing pickup to them and start talking about it to them um, and a normal girl like a high self-esteem girl the type of girl that you should be inspiring to get it's not gonna fly with them because they're gonna feel like this weird creepy agenda from you that mm. you know there's, there's something a part of you that's just not quite right okay and all the students that I've had the guys that I work with including the staff but even the students that I've worked with and seen working on from other instructors like at the end of the program they're just normal guys <laughs> yeah sorry <laughs> using the C word here and also like calling your girlfriend the old enemy in where in the west of England now apparently <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that the point that you want to make? So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, in terms of that, like talking about that weirdness and that a bit of over the top social behaviour for people in the community in general, and especially talking about how we distinguish ourselves from both students in the community and other schools of thought in the community. When you get started in game and pick up with mystery or David D'Angelo or RSD Tyler Julian Max, it's very very empowering, and it can make you 
confident, obnoxious, belligerent, but these are not necessarily positive words. Belligerent and obnoxious is very thrilling and empowering and, and liberating, but in a tyrannical way. Like you're kind of being, I win, you lose kind of behaviors. And that's a thrill and it's empowering and it gives you a kind of a glow and a state and a momentum that does make you attractive for a period of time. But the problem is that that magic will wear off and that essentially attraction seeking behavior and attraction seeking intensity, it's gonna be very, very instantly gratifying when you first do that for the first week or month yep. or you know maybe six months, but you know that it's not actually leading you anywhere and that's the big, that's the big, you know, the hole in the bucket here where you're not actually going to be getting results. Now, I, I of course, coached this. I almost I played a part in designing this entire idea and method over the years with RSD since 2007. But we then came up with the idea of the front door rule. And that was to shift your focus away from being intense and getting attraction and trying to control the frame. You know, all these uh, manipulative buzzwords that they use in the community. And... I, I realized this one day, it was like 2010 in Brisbane, and I had this really like sad and confusing realization that the only thing that we need to worry about is who do we leave the club with? Like not, not even attraction, not even clever dynamics, not even engagement and controlling the frame. It's that if you're the guy who happens to leave with her at the end of the night and go to the casino or go to the after party or go to the restaurant, that's where the results come from. Yep. And when, when I thought about that as the pivot, like designing my whole night around having a crescendo at that optimal time rather than early in the night when everyone's getting warmed up but getting closer to the girl with familiarity with patience with repetition uh with good social influence all throughout the bar and then making sure that i time my run properly it was this magic effect where i never had any visual feedback from the girl showing me that she was attracted to me, but there was curiosity, there was engagement, there was familiarity, which is all good things. Um, and then because I didn't give my power away and try to keep her attention or react to her when she didn't like me the way that I hoped, it, I was good to go at the end, of the end of the night, which mattered most. And I could say, hey, let's go to the casino, let's get a taxi, let's go get a bite to eat. And then me and my mate, a good friend from Australia, uh, including Ryan when he and I were winging as younger chaps running around Perth, Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane. We were there when it mattered most and bang, every night me and R we're back to Ryan's place in Perth and oh my, like when Ryan, when I was winging with Ryan back in the day, man, he's so good. He's such a freaking freak. Like, he, he <laughs> this is Ryan's game. Like at the end of the night, you just walk up like, hey, <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, just hanging out with friends. Yeah, still, yeah, it's, back it's, to, it's back still to my, like that. My yeah. mom's house, yeah, yeah. yeah. And dude, he's so, so, for, like, like, could you ever imagine, like, Ryan's a really good objective exa example for me because, you know, I'm doing my, my own thing subjectively, thinking about the front door, and I'm more playful, but he's just calm, not attention seeking, not attraction seeking, and at the end of the night, every other guy has been too intense unto the girl, and a guy like Ryan, Luke, or me, where just chill, and it's like, cool, onto the after party but we've built up the familiarity and most importantly, we haven't wanted her in a way that's made her defensive or made ourselves predictable. And that is, you know, if you're watching this, I'm sure you're watching stacks of very, very brilliant Tyler, Julian, Max, Madison, Todd videos. Um, but if you're feeling that little hole in your soul that you can't control the reactions that you want to get, by the way, directional microphone can't pick that up, which is good, um, that you're not getting the control and the interaction that you want, Think about your front door rule. Think about almost befriending the girl. Don't don't neglect your range of emotions. Use your positives and negatives. Use your physicality. Use your qualifications, motivate statements of motivation, all that stuff. And have the plan at the end of the night and get everybody on site. Ah, now we're gonna have we actually have like a whole <laughs> a whole pack of people. A battalion of children. Have, have you guys seen this like old TV show called Postman Pat? This is where Oh, we're actually <laughs> like they're coming at us from all angles now. <laughs> this is like Postman Patland. Everyone's like, you know, do you do you have a black and white cat? This is a great town. Do you? Uh, I don't have a black and white cat. No. <laughs> do you have a black and white cat? I, I I like this Postman Pat, like black and white cat sort of area. And now like everyone's just coming around, having a. <laughs> it's a good spot. All right, we'll put on pause for a sec. Yeah. So yeah, now back back. So 
not so many like 15 children are rolling up on us talking about front door ruling in a nightclub at the end of the night <laughs> in postman pat land in western England, wherever the hell we are um <laughs> so that that's the big difference gentlemen is that the difference between the kind of game that we're talking about is longer term deeper assumed attraction you are enough with a, with an exit strategy to get results whereas when you first get into game with you know finding videos on youtube or going to a free tour you can be very empowered and that is fantastic but you've got to you know eventually you'll get over that empoweredness and you'll get over the kind of belligerent and obnoxiousism that you can talk to anyone anytime you know take risks and be a bit crazy and then you need to be a little bit more patient subtle calm clever with an exit strategy and that's what's actually going to get you the real results with the hottest girls we call it invisible